Hi, my name is Diane Spahn and I'm the Education Specialist for Kodo Kids. I'd love to talk with you today about your magnet wall. And I'm going to assume by now that you either have your magnet wall installed indoors, outdoors, or within the frame of our mobile version. Regardless of which style you have, you're going to receive a fundamentals pack of ramps and loose parts. And I'd like to explain those parts to you. So, um, the first would be our magnetic ramps. And you see that they're going to come in a couple of different sizes here. You're going to have two of these one foot uh, ramps, and they're really simple. There's a large magnet on the back of the, of the ramp. And I want to caution everyone to, re to keep the caps on. If you remove the caps, it will scratch the surface of your magnet wall, which is going to void your warranty, and we don't want that now. So keep the caps on. Should a cap for any reason get lost, give us a call, and we'll, uh, we'll get you one in the mail. Anyway, so your magnetic ramps simply go on your magnet wall. Children can position them pretty much in any way they wish to. Um, they can even, you know, create little sort of tunnels using them, um, depending on how they're, you know, how they're positioned. The ramps are simple to use, these magnetic ones, and you might be wondering, Diane, why did you include ramps that don't have any magnets? Well, that's because we like to build in a little bit of cognitive tension, a little bit of, um, of reason for the child to solve a problem. And, you know, pushing children's thinking in small ways is really terrific. It's a great strategy for you as a teacher. And that's one thing that we, we do at Kodo. We try and help you out. So, we've included these rings, and the idea is, eventually through play, children are going to understand that by placing a ring and a second ring, here, I'll use a short one, they can position a loose ramp just about any way they wish. Now, here are some problems that they're going to um, encounter. This is going to slip. So now I've got to be able to figure out, is this going to be the right angle? What if I wanted my ramp to go like that? Well, now I have a tremendous amount of slippage, as you can see. So these are the problems we want them to bump into, literally, because we want them to think about how they could creatively solve their problem. Could they use another piece? Could they look to the classroom and the materials that you have in your classroom to solve this problem? And certainly, I can't give you a laundry list of all of the ways that they would do it, but rest assured, they will. All right. Uh, let's go on. So now you know about these kinds of ramps and the loose ramps and the rings. The rings also house the cups that we supply. And the cups can be used in a variety of different ways. Put balls in them at the launch point or at several points along the wall just to give children an idea of, um, of how they could store the balls. You could use the cup, certainly with water, if you have our outdoor magnet wall. Fill them with water, make a sort of waterfall, aqueduct kind of system. Will be great fun. Uh, you can also use these walls. And I think the wall, even though it is so simple in design, is one of the most intriguing pieces that we've got. We want to obviously inspire children's curiosity, their ability to, um, to see a material and use it in several different ways, not just one. So we built the walls so that they could be used as bumpers, so that they could also be used as deflectors, right? If a ball is traveling down this ramp and I want to change its direction or slow it down a little bit, I might use that. Well, and there it went because I didn't have the rest of it finished but you get the idea. The other thing that I think the, um, the walls are really great for is helping to uh, give support to those loose ramps that they're going to put into the rings. They may use several of these. Children might even use these as an actual ramp, lining up several next to one another. Well, that wasn't very uh, graceful, but again, you get the idea. So if I use these as ramps, you can see I have a really, really small incline, a very small degree of incline here. I might, in, in fact, get a ball to travel down and slow down. So the walls, rings, ramps, loose ramps, and cups 
are your basic components along with about oh, a couple dozen balls that you're going to get. All of these materials can either be stored under the tray, if you have a wall mounted version in your classroom, or outdoors you might consider getting a, a small tub or um, even a trash can works really well. Um, many teachers that we have spoken to just simply have the children arrange the materials on the end of the wall so that when they're not in use, they still have a large canvas to play with. Uh, that's just about it about your basic fundamentals pack. If there's any questions that you have, feel free to give us a call. And we're so happy that you have our magnet wall. Bye.